Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Okay, so the other day uh, a friend contacted me and said, Hey, I've locked myself out of my Moodle. And I was wondering how did that actually happen, but uh, here's how it happened and here's how you can solve it. So if you get locked out of your Moodle, basically one of the ways to, do, to get locked out, and the way that this happened was that there's a setting inside administration uh, underneath admi uh, authentication plugins here. And if you go to manage authentication, uh, there's this setting here, alternate login URL. So the thing is that usually uh, your login will URL will be slash login slash index.php, but you can actually change that and make your own. And so what's happened here is uh, his password manager, which everybody should use password manager. Password managers are awesome. But um, what's happened here is that in login URL, uh, this accidentally, it would seem, got, uh, well, uh, changed. So it became, I don't know, something else other than uh, login slash index.php. And uh, I'm just going to save that. And now the thing is that I'm still logged in and that's not a problem. But the trouble is when I log out and then go to log in one more time. And what's going to happen? Oh my god, 404 error file not found. So now I can't log in. Oh, oh no, what's what's going on? So the thing is, the thing that's happened here is that uh, Moodle now believes that the alternate login is over um, at slash something else. And so you can see that up here in the, um, the thingamabob up there. All right, you can see in the thingamabob, URL. Jeez, I should really learn to talk properly. Anyway, it's up there in the URL. And so how are we going to fix this? Well, we need to override the setting of alternate logging URL. And so where are we going to find that? Well, we're going to find that in our little terminal. We're going to go to our terminal and we're going to put in an all override in um, config.php. So let's do that. Okay, so this is the Wisecat server. This is my own personal Moodle. And so if I come in here and I go, I'll go sudo nano slash etsy, uh, not etsy, slash srv, because that's where my Moodle is. So path to your Moodle and www and config.php. And just so that uh, I'm not showing my database password away, I'm going to move this off screen just briefly. And when I bring it back, um, I got a, I've got a bunch of uh, things in there. And this is the line that you actually want to add. I'll try to add this to the, I don't think I can add it to, but anyway, it's config. We're adding a config here. I've got some force plugin settings there, but we're going to be adding um, a config that just says uh, alternate login URL equals zero. And that just means, you know, there is no alternate login URL, All right? I'm going to save that. That's my config.php. It's saved. And now if I come back here and go to continue, well, this takes me back to my, my page here. But now if I click on login, I'm back to the default login page. So um, it actually does say on that page, on that plugin, uh, go to plugins, again, authentication, manage authentication. And if we go down here to uh, alternate login URL, and you can see I've got a zero in there now. I think you could probably also set it to be blank or something like that. But anyway, uh, if you enter a URL here, it will be used as the login page of the site. This uh, blah, 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 blah. Be careful not to enter an incorrect URL as you may lock yourself out of this site. And so that's how you can lock yourself out of your site and also using config.php to save the day and uh, put it back in. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what, while we are here, why not? Let's, let's try. What happens if I just set this to blank? Actually, blank would be fine. I'd just set it to zero as in like Boolean, no. Um, let's see. Okay, I've done that. Now if I rephrase this, and now, now that's also blank there. So, let's see, does that do it? And click on login. And yeah, that, that went back too. So that's how it happens. Okay, so if you ever log yourself out of the site, lock yourself out of your Moodle site like that, that's how you can get back in. 
Okay, hope this one was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.